welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. A quiz so big and fat that Channel 4 are dissecting it live on Thursday night. <laughs> you can play along at home, simply fetch a pen and paper from the kitchen, notice a bottle of Baileys, pour yourself a glass, forget why you went into the kitchen, open the fridge and begin eating. <laughs> Let's meet our teams. First up, someone who pays great attention to what goes into his mouth and someone who pays very little into what comes out of his, Jamie Oliver and Jonathan Ross. <laughs> Next up, we have a team that look like a couple of Christians that got married in college and have grown apart. <laughs> it's David Williams and Miranda Hart. <laughs> and finally, a team of opposites, a flamboyant, jet-setting movie star and a straight-laced history enthusiast. They may not agree on everything, but the makeup sex is always amazing. It's David Mitchell and Eddie Izzard. <laughs> Jonathan, Jamie, you've got a, a team name? We're going to call ourselves the Lisping Ninnies. <laughs> <laughs> My tongue gets in the way quite a bit and he can't say wuh. <laughs> <laughs> he can't say wuh. <laughs> 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 is that the technical term? I can say wuh, I just can't say wuh, <laughs> wuh, <laughs> like the word wuh. The Lisping Ninnies. Can, Jamie, can you say that? No. <laughs> <laughs> or anything to do with sausages. Hold on. I might need a cloth out here. This is getting quite wet already. <laughs> it's electrical equipment. It's dangerous. OK, so the Lisping Ninnies. Yes. David and Miranda? Miranda wanted Lesby Friends. <laughs> Lesby Friends is a great name <laughs> for a team. I also... I wanted Groove Matrix. <laughs> no, I don't the name like that. of the band that Anton Deck had in Biker Grove. Because, like them, we're down with the kids. <laughs> Do you prefer Lesby Friends? Lesby Friends? Homo, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, David, what have you come up with? Well, we came up with David Mitchell as an idea. Well, I didn't come. I wouldn't. I, I just thought it was David Mitchell. Your, your team was called David Mitchell. This what wasn't that? my idea. That I was thought my that idea. would. Yes, I thought I might seem self centered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. we're called Nexus Six. <laughs> <laughs> Nexus Six? Nexus yeah. Six. Nexus if you know Blade Runner, Nexus Six, very cool. <laughs> yeah. it, they were very cool. They, uh, they were robots, <laughs> which is slightly different to us. Yeah. But apart from that, they could kill. Or have very good sex. So I'm like, I'm like a robot that can kill or have sex. Yep. <laughs> I don't think you've even seen that film. I don't remember the Nexus 6 in that, frankly. Okay. Although, Jimmy, seeing as you are a robot, you could perhaps <laughs> fill us in. <laughs> Jimmy, I think you look more human when you try and pretend you're a robot. <laughs> <laughs> the humanity comes out in those moments. Right, let's get started. A lot happened this year. It was like an episode of Lark Rise to Candleford. Except that a lot happened. <laughs> and it only feels like it lasted 12 months. We start with January and February. Elton John and David Furnish had a baby boy after donating sperm. Just goes to show what you can do if you both pull together. <laughs> the Arab Spring protest started, beginning an unstoppable movement that just kept on running. And if you've ever eaten Tunisian street food, you'll know exactly how that feels. <laughs> Of course, it wouldn't be a quiz without questions, so let's get on with it. OK, first lot of questions. Eyes down. You ready? To kick things off, here's a question from international singing superstar CeeLo Green. Over to you, CeeLo. Hello, Jimmy. 21-year-old sports student Tom Cowan hit the news back in February after his work experience placement went badly wrong. What happened? <laughs> so Tom Cowan's work experience went badly wrong. What happened? What sport was it? If it's not swimming, he won't know. He doesn't know anything about swimming. <laughs> swimming's not a sport. What can you do to stop drowning? <laughs> <laughs> Second question. If you've seen the Big Fat Quiz before, you'll know that every year the children of Mitchellbrook Primary School in Neesden put on a rather unconventional school play. It's always adorable. What story are they acting out here? Politics! Europe! Economy! What was that? <laughs> Just the best. Okay, so you've got to write down what news story. 
Look That's at Eddie's right. concentration oh. face. OK. <laughs> OK, next question. <laughs> Whose comments were described as appalling, prehistoric and totally and utterly wrong in January this year? Did Clarkson have a book out in January? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't give anything away. What, have you got something, have you got something David, Eddie? Yeah, just, just, we're just... What are you doing under the desk? Are you Googling? Yeah. We're you're not Googling. Are you Googling? Why not? If you're, are you, what do you mean you're Googling? <laughs> give me your phone. Give me, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Get his phone. No get his phone. Get, get his phone. Get it, Miranda. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Nexus 6. Get it. Nexus 6. No, we need your iPhone. I'll switch it off and we'll put it somewhere where you can see it. So there we go, it's off. I can't believe and Nexus 6 cheated. <laughs> Miranda, keep an eye on... I'm having a close on you, Izzard. <laughs> Why is cheating so bad? <laughs> OK, so you... maybe he cheated when he said he ran those marathons. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, stop Googling things. Uh, OK, what's the next question? Um, take a look at this picture. Which banned product is she advertising? Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> is it banned? Oh, I know. What yeah, that's a, it's a banned product. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I think I want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all I'm going to say, Miranda, all I'm going to say is I, I gave you one job to do. I said keep an eye out for that phone. <gasps> Where's it gone? Where's the phone gone? Where's my phone? <laughs> oh, that's some acting skill right so... there. <laughs> He's he got it there! It's take it away. It's Seriously, it's Jimmy, it take it anywhere. away. Can't you see, at school... I'm happy leaving it there. Jimmy, at school you could see David was the kind of boy squealing on everyone else, going, Sir, he's got a book at the back. <laughs> Take it away, sir. <laughs> At least I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Jonathan's defence, they didn't have schools when he was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> everyone finished? Yes. 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 Finished. OK, lovely, all right. Let's have some answers. OK, so CeeLo Green asked you how 21-year-old Tom Cowan's work experience placement went awry. What did you all get? David and Miranda. Caught photocopying genitals. <laughs> You think he was caught... Photocopying his genitals when he was on the work experience. And you remember reading this story in the papers, do you? Wait. I remember dreaming it. <laughs> <laughs> and we've done a little picture. I... Well, look, Miranda did, I did it. that. <laughs> that was oh, the last penis she saw. It looked like that. <laughs> OK. I can tell you, that is, that's not the correct answer. What, oh. what did you two go for? He was shot by Ashley Cole with an air gun. Okay. Jonathan, Jamie, what have you put there? We that's... put shot by Ashley Cole, because, but we knew it. We didn't Google it. <laughs> Well, I uh, thought it might have been one of uh, one of Jamie's work experiences, boys, because they're always getting locked in the freezer, aren't they, and just yep. left there. And... Tied up, put in freezers, getting up vegetables pushed in places, and... Yeah. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you can apply if you want. We're taking in for next year. Sign him up. <laughs> Let's go back to CeeLo Green for the answer. Did you get it? Tom Cowan had the misfortune of being accidentally shot by an air rifle by Ashley Cole. Well, that's what I call a bad day at the office. <laughs> Why would you take an air gun to football yeah. training? To shoot wow. one of the work experience kids. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my rationale. I would take it there because that would be hilarious. <laughs> Next, what were the kids of Mitchell Brook Primary School acting out? Any thoughts? Downing Street oh, has got a new cat. <laughs> that is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. really? David Williams, Miranda Hart, what did you go for here? The, the Lion, Lion King. King. <laughs> He was dressed up as a lion. And there were other animals and in it. And then they sang, Can you, you feel, feel the love, love tonight? Tonight. tonight. <laughs> the circle of life. A cool and a It's a wonderful <laughs> thing. A cool and a tata. A cool and a tata. A cool and a tata. It's a wonderful <laughs> thing, Jimmy. So they acted out the Lion King. That's what we saw. <laughs> Jonathan, Jamie, what did you go for? Well, well I, the cat got the job. It got a new cat at number 10. And to tell you the truth, Jim, uh, having cooked at number 10 a few times, they do have the worst kitchen of any kitchen I've ever worked in. Right. Really? They've got a bad kitchen? Proper. Right. Who have you cooked Pokey. for? I've cooked for loads of people. What do you want? Well, right. well you've just said number 10. <laughs> I know you've cooked for lots of people. I've seen you on TV. Who do you want? But, well, <laughs> which, which Prime Ministers? All of them. We well, can't all of them. I mean, there's people Prime Minister about some 400 years ago. Pitt the Younger, Pitt the Elder, no, all, Disraeli. All the, all the ones that are important. Yeah, well, Winston Churchill was important. <laughs> He's a little bit dead, but, you know, he'd probably <laughs> still appreciate it. What did you do? Cheese toasty? No, I did a... Well, it was tough because it was just before everything started growing. It was in the early spring. You get lots of things from Sainsbury's, Jamie. <laughs> Oh, you're out. Good night. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
We had a great time. It was an honour to do it. Yeah. When I did the meal, right, um, basically, I had mushrooms. St George mushrooms were just coming out, which are the same ancestry as, as the death cap. Which, so I could have as actually used death cap and I could have killed them all. And we'd be in such a better state right now, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> you missed your, your chance. chance. In all honesty, I genuinely could have. Uh, no. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could. You know what? <laughs> How Essex are you? <laughs> I could have killed them all. Why, why you're saying that all of the world's problems that we now face are thanks to you. <laughs> you had, I you had your opportunity yeah. and you didn't take it. <laughs> now, and you've got the gall to come on television. <laughs> in this terrible world that we live in now and just say, yeah, that's my fault. I, just, I couldn't be bothered to poison them. <laughs> I would argue that by just killing political leaders, it doesn't quite solve problems. It doesn't well, you never know either. until you try. Well, <laughs> shame on you, Oliver. Shame on you. Uh, I asked whose comments were described as appalling, prehistoric and totally and utterly wrong. Who did you go for? David and Miranda, what have you put? Bungle from Rainbow. He calls it a Zippy was a <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what have you what have you gone for, John? We thought Jamie? it was the the guy it was Andy Gray and the other one I don't know his name. Yeah, the, someone the who presenters were, from Sky. Yeah, the Sports, Sky. The no, we, guy. We <laughs> That's what we were Googling. Yeah. We couldn't remember the other one. I knew it was Andy Gray, it's Rich or something. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Pigs. Oh. I, you can give me a point. Keys. Richard Keys, that's right. It was Richard Keys. Come back to me. Richard Keys. It's it wasn't Bungle. Just, just a few minutes too late. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't Bungle, it was Richard Keys. Bungle. It's an easy mistake oh, to make. Oh, why isn't it working? Because but it's I... over. It's over. <laughs> I but deserve they... a point for Keys. They didn't know these stupid bastards here, didn't oh, they? Well, right. <laughs> maybe I you should have tried cheating. <laughs> Uh, David, uh, Eddie, what did you go for? You might we went Andy, Andy Gray, and and then we you would. Put Rob we I think you'll find it was Richard <laughs> Keys. <laughs> Simply trying to Google the answer, oh. and oh. You know. all right. Well, I could tell you that you you it was Andy Gray and Richard Keys on on Sky making those. How those... specific did we have to be? Because we got half right and the presenters. We said Sky sexist. Also, it's I weird. Think now, I think you both get a point for that. That's that's near enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Final question in this round. Um, what was the woman advertising that was banned? Uh, you've gone for David and Miranda. Vanilla ice cream. <laughs> you think that's been banned? <laughs> yeah, because... Yeah, it's not as nice as chocolate. <laughs> that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> but also, because I do actually know the answer to this, and I think vanilla ice cream's as disgusting as the real answer when you really think about it. Well, how do you know the right answer to this but you didn't write it down? Because I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> what point are you trying to make? Well, the answer was that it's made of breast milk, the ice cream, so, what point were you making? My point, <laughs> my point is you might go, oh, that's disgusting, but if you really think about it, vanilla ice cream is made from a cow's udder and that's disgusting. Well, it's not so, made from a cow... It comes from a cow's udder. They don't yeah. cut the udder out and, and make the vanilla. <laughs> that. that would be pretty that unpleasant. Would be Actually, a cow's udder is a cow's breast, so it comes from breast milk. Exactly. Comes from breast milk of a cow. It's human breast milk, which was yummy when we were small, but now not so good. <laughs> Uh, you know, I can, I can tell you, thanks to, thanks to our friends at the Ice Creamists, we have some uh, breast milk ice cream. This is unacceptable! Oh. OK. <laughs> OK, there you go. Grab one. Honestly, I will gag. I I ice cream. Jimmy, Jamie was all over this. He not only knew it straight away, he, knew, he knows how much it costs. Oh, it's £14 a scoop. It's it's £14 a scoop, apparently. Where's Izzard going? Where's Izzard going? He's doing that. Uh, all I will say to Jamie is... <laughs> if we do... All I will say to her, if we booked Hester Blumenthal, nice. he would have it. Come on. Mate, I'm, I'm a bit sensitive. I had a medical the other day. I will throw up. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. I can't. I can't. No, you're not going to bring the lady out. We're not going to have to say thank you, mm. are we? <laughs> is this real? Yeah, yeah this is genuinely you not, real. You don't know well, what the bird's been up to. Sorry, not the bird. That's... <laughs> I think too. I can taste garlic and wicked in mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, I've, I, 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 I've had four kids. It's too much. You don't like it? You, do you have you, some at you, home, though, You prefer you? yours fresh, do you? <laughs> I tell you that Jonathan and Jamie were right, uh, as were uh, Eddie and David, about the... This is breast milk. It's the only thing. David and Eddie have four points. Uh, David and Miranda have no points. Jonathan and Jamie have four points. We're going to take a short break and enjoy our delicious ice cream made from breast milk. Uh, see you after the break. <laughs> Hello 
and welcome back to the big fat quiz of the year. A quiz so big and fat, not even Andy Gray would smash it. <laughs> As the autocorrect text message of March becomes the he penis fart go cartography, here's what happened. <laughs> Midsummer Murders producer Brian Trumay was suspended after defending his all white casting policy. Brian Trumay said he wanted to represent rural England as accurately as possible. And what better way to do that than by acting like a massive racist? <laughs> Barack Obama produced his birth certificate to prove where he was born, although he forgot to bring a utility bill, so he still can't rent films from blockbusters. <laughs> Wayne Rooney was in trouble after swearing into a camera during a football match. Rooney was seen asking, fucking what? <laughs> to be fair to Rooney, he was just randomly shouting two of his five words. <laughs> it happened to be fucking and what? It could easily have been kick, wee wee or banana. <laughs> no, that's a good joke. I like that. <laughs> Thumbs up. Check like that one. Okay, on to the questions. For our first question, it's over to Welsh acting supremo Michael Sheen. Hello, Jimmy. Michael Sheen here. Uh, my brother, Charlie Sheen, had a fantastic year. Uh, in fact, he was winning. He won all year long. He discussed this in many interviews. But can you name one physical attribute that he claimed separated him from other mere mortals? Okay. So the question is... What separates Charlie Sheen? You, now, I think the question was, no. can you name um, one attribute that separates Charlie Sheen from us mere mortals, right? Yes. So I could correctly answer no and get the point. <laughs> well, well, you're applauding someone being very weaselly. <laughs> yes, you, yes, you could, but it's not in the spirit of this game. All right. <laughs> OK. Our next question. What was broken by 75,000 Twitter users, the Scottish Sunday Herald and John Hemming MP? John Hemming's MP? Who's yes. John Hemming's MP? It's John Hemming's. He, is, he's an MP, is he? He's his own MP. He's his own MP. <laughs> That's in some way masturbatory. <laughs> That's the That's weirdest use of that yeah. word I've ever heard. Yeah, I know. Is that what you sounds like a room, doesn't yeah. it? The masturbatory. <laughs> we will take tea in the masturbatory. <laughs> but it sounds like a conservatory. That would be the worst thing to do in a conservatory. No, I said I masturbatory. I'm no, imagining no, a room that's like a conservatory, but is designed for wanking. <laughs> I think a room for wanking is called the Masturbatorium. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's what the Romans called it. Oh, I see. The original. <laughs> they, were original. they were wonderful oh. wankers. Oh. <laughs> now, it wouldn't be the Big Fat Quiz without a special report from Channel 4 News King, Jon Snow. He's reporting on one of the biggest songs of the year. Can you tell me what the song is? American police are investigating a bizarre incident on the highway in which an underage girl was apparently found kicking in the front seat of a speeding vehicle. When stopped by police, the 13-year-old was incoherent and struggled to remember what day it was, saying yesterday was Thursday, tomorrow is Saturday, and <laughs> Sunday comes afterwards. She was also heard to shout, got to have my bowl, got to have cereal, prompting fears that some form of substance abuse was involved. <laughs> After being released without charge, the defendant was visibly pleased, stating, we, 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 so excited. We, so excited. Jimmy. John. <laughs> John Snow's a legend. Legend. Okay, so what song was he talking about? It's a song. Yeah, it's a song. Yeah, internet sensation this year. Huge song. Okay, so next question. Why did time stand still in central London on March fifteenth this year? Oh yeah. Oh sorry, I can't say it. <laughs> He's getting the hang of this. I'm going into the quiz now. I'm oh, yeah. relaxing and enjoying watching the master no, work. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's a pub quiz. What's not to like? Really OK, all right. So, on with some answers. You ready? You all got something? We're all good. We just need, uh, like, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the back of the bus over there. OK. All right, right, I've got some answers for you. All right. Michael Sheen asked you which attributes Charlie Sheen claimed to have any thoughts on what physical attributes he claimed to have? Uh, David, Eddie, what did you say? <laughs> he says, and I'm not sure. Well, he said he, he can take an infinite amount of drugs. <laughs> OK, not, wow. not, I'm, that's, that's not quite I a point, because I it's... would say at this point, I don't, I don't consider this answer to be correct. No, this is our well, first... Just as well. It's this a guess. Our first, our first try. Your first stab. OK, well, what yeah. did you go for, David and Miranda? And we said he can make a hamburger shape out of his willy. Ooh! <laughs> because if you... 
You know, like when I was playing with yours and I sort of folded it. <laughs> and then yeah. we pretended it was a hamburger and yes. I just... Sort of... <laughs> I don't recall... <laughs> Maybe I... it was a dream. My, my daughter... David's her favourite author, and now I've got to show her that because she wants to see me on TV. <laughs> is doing is it inconsistent no, with writing children's books? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you can do that. You can make all kinds of amazing shapes. I mean, it's hard with yours because it's tiny, but. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a, a normal sized one, you can make lots of things hamburgers, etc. Cocktail burger. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are we talking about ways well, you can mutilate your penis? <laughs> <laughs> it's not penis mutilation, it seems to be penis manipulation. Yes, yes it's, penis, right. it's yeah. puppetry yeah. of the penis. Puppetry. Yeah. Puppetry. Puppetry. Okay. Puppetry. Okay. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. Uh, right. Jonathan, so Jamie, so get us back on this. Fun. What, what yeah. did you say? I remember him saying he could drink tiger blood. Yep, that's correct. And he had uh, a super rock star a, a DNA, I think he had. Uh, let's go back to Michael for the answer. Hello again. Well, there are many things that make... My brother Charlie, so special. <laughs> Including, but not limited to, tiger blood, Adonis DNA, and a brain from an extraterrestrial realm. <laughs> well, I think you've got to get a point for tiger blood. Thank you very much. How can you have tiger blood? He's not a tiger. What? I, what he's... Yeah, by definition, yes, he's got Charlie lie. Sheen blood. Got... <laughs> it's not a debate. <laughs> it is a debate. Should we treat ourselves to a little bit of Charlie in action? Some are saying that you're bipolar. I'm bi-winning. I went here and I went there. Now what? I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um, <laughs> you borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Yeah, because it just, it fires in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe not from this particular uh, terrestrial uh, realm. You know? <laughs> and you got tiger blood and Adonis DNA, man. It's like, get, get with the program, dude. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. Christmas future looks pretty fun. <laughs> so you get a point for that, uh, Jonathan and Jamie. Thank you. No one else does. OK. Get nothing. Down. I asked you what was broken by 75,000 Twitter users. What did you think? My heart. Oh. She went speed dating and 17,000 men turned her down. <laughs> and an MP. And the, the Sunday Herald. And the Sunday Herald also. And Lembit Opic. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad day when Lembit Opic turns you down, isn't it? Bloody hell. There's nowhere else to go when Lembit turns you down. <laughs> Very hard. So, okay, Jonathan, Jamie, what have you got? Yeah, it's a toilet in um, the Glasgow Starbucks. They broke it. Not even vaguely. Oh. David, <laughs> uh, Super injunction. Correct. The answer was, of course, Ryan Giggs' super injunction against Imogen Thomas. Of course. <laughs> Jon Snow reported on one of the biggest songs of the year, but which one? Okay. Initially, I thought the Downton Abbey theme. Then we went with Friday, Friday. <laughs> your, your kids like it. I bet your kids liked it. <laughs> no, no, they preferred the other one, which was Wave your hair all around. 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 I think it's back and forth. Wave your hair all around. No, it's back and forth. Back and forth. Wave your hair all around. Wave your hair back and forth. What happened to music? <laughs> David and Eddie, you went for Friday as well. OK, David and Miranda, your answer. We weren't we listening. We weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Well, during that question, you just weren't Well, listening. we were trying to listen, but then we were talking about old times. <laughs> and uh, we didn't get it. I'm sorry, I apologise, because I know up to now we've had all right answers, but... <laughs> I thought that was lovely, what they just sung. Oh, well, let's have a listen to how it should have sounded. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody oh, wow. more words in the week. What's not to like? Catch it. <laughs> okay, so David and Eddie got that right, Jonathan and Jamie got that right, and uh, no points for David and Miranda. So, why did time stand still in central London? Uh, Jamie thought it was the, there's an Olympic countdown clock mm -hmm. that stopped. He put that. Olympic clock stopped. Well, it is the Olympic countdown clock stopped. David and Miranda, you went with? Richard Keyes and Andy, Andy Gray, Gray. Because, <laughs> because we didn't write it down in the previous round. Points. So we feel we could get a point now, now. for the question from the previous <laughs> round. We did what we did there. A, it is in a... what quiz does that work? <laughs> oh, the answer to that question, but I've got an answer I from earlier. We maybe. know. <laughs> you've got, you've got both names. That is actually just the premise of a two Ronnie sketch, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand much about the Olympics. So they're gonna, it's the game countdown. 
So the Olympics will start with doo 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 boom, like that. And then the 100 metres, bang, they're off. Because I'm quite excited. That would be awesome. Instead of a gun, you just go... Are you going? Are you going to the Olympics? Yeah, I'm going to go to a few I'm going as well. I'm absolutely going. What have you got tickets for? You're not swimming, are you? No, I've been asked to be an ambassador for the swimming team. Wow. Really? Wow, sis. Wow. And I'm going to see Tom Daly diving. So am I. It's slightly creepy, isn't it, just to ask to see him? Yes, it is, David. I'd like to see Tom Daly in Speedos, please. Mostly because I couldn't think of anything else to, you know, go to. I couldn't think of another sport. The one you could think of was a boy in tight trunks. So I'm going to see Tom Daly, and then afterwards, because I'm ambassador, I can hang around in the change rooms and the showers. That's not what ambassadors do. Is your wife going to come with you when you're doing this? Is that? I'd rather she didn't. <laughs> Eddie, yeah? Eddie, when you refer to David's wife, we normally do inverted commas around the word wife. <laughs> well, I just sort of mentioned. Are you excited I'm, about the Olympics? I think excited? the Olympics is brilliant. Now, remember this: it will not be back in our lifetime. This is the greatest show on earth, and it will not return. The last one was 64 years ago. Next one will be probably 80 years time. If you're 10, you'll be 90. This is it, baby, and it's going to be beautiful. Are you looking I mean, it will happen mm. every four years in other countries. Yeah, yeah but you've got to go there. You have to yeah. go there. I, I no, David, no, obviously. you don't. This is what I found out. It's on television. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's on television constantly. <laughs> <laughs> to a wearying extent. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of planning is going on for the 2012 Olympics. Sadly, most of the planning is being done by Al Qaeda. But... <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for a special round all about the feel good story of 2011 the royal wedding. Oh, yeah. oh. The royal wedding brought oh. the country together. We united as a nation and said as one, oh, okay. he's married the wrong sister. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remind ourselves what happened. It's showing the world what we do best, and it's fantastic. Really elegant. Yes, very elegant. We are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. That they said in there, it kind of shows what Britain does really well that pomp and ceremony and the whole thing. No one else would, you know, turn on something like that, I don't think. We I can't mean, have that as our main thing, you know, <laughs> we can't just, like, just posh people getting married. We're oh, brilliant at that, and that's it. You but, know, we are, just worry about it. but we are bloody good I think at it. We've got to mix it up a royal wedding one year and Olympics the next. Yeah, and <laughs> we, 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 we had Jordan's wedding the year before, that was equally beautiful. <laughs> or, was it, or was it the year before that? It was well, a... there's one every year, I think. Isn't <laughs> Apart from a leap year. Oh, the leap year, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, so for our first wedding question, it's over to X Factor judge and end dub, Talisa. Hey, Jimmy. At the royal wedding this year, one of the guests, Grace Van Cutsum, became an internet star, but can your lovely teams tell me why? Yeah, I think I know. Is did it... anyone get an invite? Jamie, did you not get an invite to the wedding? You struck me as no, a I was a bit upset, really. But <laughs> we had a nice party. Did you, did you all get together and watch yeah, it? Yeah, I wrote a recipe and dedicated it to them. What Kate, was... Kate and Will's pie. What's in Kate and Will's pie? Beautiful, it was. Beef shin, barley, beer, onions, cooked slow, fall off the bone. Not a, a very romantic food. dish, though, is it? A big uh, no, no. shin pie. No, <laughs> it, because when you cook that pie for someone, it makes them propose to you. It's a very romantic is pie. It, what about the, the lovely oh, music of Domino's on speed dial? <laughs> 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 have you got them on your? Have you got the iPhone app for the pizza delivery? I, I don't actually. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes I do it with my mistakes. So I'll eat it anyway if it cuts. Yeah. But I mean, I don't. Know. <laughs> okay, then they track you all over London and shove the pizza down. <laughs> <your throat> I would like to live a lifestyle where the whole time I've got a garlic bread vaguely following me around. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we've we got answers for this. What have you got, Jonathan, Jamie? I think the answer's in her name, if I remember correctly. Grace Van Cutson. Cutson. Van. She's a child who drives a van. <laughs> <laughs> OK. David, Eddie, what have you got for this? They covered... Uh, didn't she... Is she the one that covered her ears when they kissed? 
<laughs> David Miranda, what you put? I did not write this. No, because I was trying to listen, but she very got a very ample bosom. Lisa, I was really, honestly, I was just staring at her tits and I totally forgot to answer. I was looking at him, looking at them. They are nice. Can we have a look and see why she made the headlines? Okay. Oh, that's so it. there she is. Oh. It does imply oh. that the, the sound of the snogging was that loud. <laughs> it's unbelievable. She was actually listening to some rave music on the earphone. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so David and Eddie get a point for that. No one else gets a point. OK, next question. How did verger Ben Sherwood celebrate the successful union of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge? Did he shave himself? <laughs> Have you got an answer, Miranda? Yeah, you... and this is... This, this is, is this is it, our this first is it. official point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you might want to just uh, steal yourselves for this. It's uh, David and Miranda's first point here. Thank Pretty you. exciting yeah. stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's go straight to. I asked you, how did Verger Ben Sherwood celebrate the successful union of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge? Okay. He watched Babe Station all night. <laughs> OK, uh, uh, David and Eddie, I'm, I'm guessing... <laughs> well, we thought that maybe he cooked his own spleen. Now, we're not sure... <laughs> but we... <laughs> what the recipe was. Jonathan and Jamie, you are our only hope. Okay. He did a handstand. He was the guy who did the handstand down well, the red carpet. Let's he did have a, great a look job and see. Back at the army, the clergy were literally doing cartwheels. The verger, Ben Sherard, doing what so many have imagined, but never dared before. So, let's see what's going on with the scores. Uh, Jonathan and Jamie have eight. David and Miranda still have no points. Oh, David man. and Eddie have eight. <laughs> Another break now, but don't go away. There's still well over an hour of Big Fat Quiz to come, or as I like to think of it, enough time for me to make one of Jamie's 30-minute meals. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back, and as the big fat gypsy of May is crammed into the monstrous flashing wedding dress of June, let's have a look at what made the headlines. Hugh Hefner was jilted at the altar. He said there were no hard feelings. <laughs> Two men were charged with the attempted abduction of Joss Stone. Good thing they were caught. If you kidnapped Joss Stone, you'd probably end up cutting off your own ears. <laughs> Who can forget the extraordinary AV referendum? <laughs> Turns out everyone. Ready for more questions? Of course you are. OK. First up, it's back to the kids of Mitchellbrook Primary School. Yay, for another one of their special school yeah. plays. What are they acting out here? Your Saturday night starts here. Yeah! yeah! La, 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 we're singing our song. La, 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 we're singing our song. <laughs> you are the best at singing. <laughs> you are fantastic. Come with me. <laughs> I can't understand her. This will never work. <laughs> Sorry, you have to go home now. You're not my friend anymore. <laughs> Again, uh, uh, an acting masterclass from Mitchell Brook Primary School there. OK, so what story were they acting out? When a Twitter user took to his keyboard at 1am on May the 1st to complain about the racket outside his flat, which major international event was he inadvertently live-tweeting? Oh, First of May. Murder. Oh, First of May, one in the morning, he's complaining about the noise outside his flat and he was live-tweeting something. Miranda, David, stop giggling. You haven't no, even got a point yet. You've got the right answer. Well, have you really? Because I've heard this before. <laughs> OK. All right. For our next question, it's over to none other than Lee Evans. Lee Evans, everyone. Hi, Jimmy. Um, in June, Burmese pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi claimed that one thing had been a lifeline during her imprisonment. Can you remember what it was? <laughs> I love him. Love him. OK. Do you got something for that? Yeah. Miranda, David? Yes. Oh, yes, yes Jimmy! Uh... <laughs> you keep on saying yes, you've got it right, and then you've got nothing, and you've yeah. really got to make an effort. We're trying! We've got so much effort putting this quiz together, and you're ruining it. <laughs> We're really trying! <laughs> OK. Both the Queen and Barack Obama made historic visits to Ireland this summer. But what did Barack do that the Queen refused to? 
And finally, take a look at this clip and tell me what this old man is apologising for. If, 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 if people want me to apologise, I can apologise, yes. I did not have the, the, all of that worked out as accurately as, it, as I should have, or I wish I could have had it. Uh, that doesn't bother me at all. So what was he apologising for? It's old, the clip. Mm. Was it an old clip? Was it an old it's, clip? It I'm happened this year. It. It's all this year. Why Big fat quiz of the year. Very much the clue is in the title. <laughs> <laughs> OK. You ready for some answers? Right, let's, uh, let's get some answers. OK, so uh, you saw the kids at Mitchellbrook Primary School. What were they acting out? Uh, uh, Sherrod Cole out of X Factor. OK, and what, what have you gone for, Jonathan, Jamie? Exactly the same. We well, said poor Cheser gets fired from X Factor yeah. because they couldn't understand her accent over there, apparently. Well, hang on a second. You're a big star in, in the States, aren't you, Jamie? They didn't really understand me, but I had to do certain things to certain people to get the job. You speak like... What? I'm sorry, what, please? <laughs> it, it sort of comes back to my impediment, really. Gets He's in. gifted it's... with a very large tongue. Let's not say anything more. <laughs> <laughs> But I found Cheryl Cole after she was... Because uh, they just they said they couldn't understand her accent, and I phoned her to try and commiserate. Couldn't understand a fucking word she was saying. <laughs> David Miranda... You thought they were acting out? The phantom of the <laughs> Here, inside <laughs> my mind... <laughs> <laughs> from the Phantom of the Opera as well as The Lion King. Yeah. It's strange. But, uh, have you, have you I, I basically have went you down. Yeah, yeah, I sank. Can you come up again? I don't know how to. Pump it. <laughs> pump it, then go down. Eddie, pump me. No, pump, why don't we pump him up again? Up, lift up a little bit. Do you want me to help, Jonathan? Yeah, you know, you're, up again. No, you're up again. Oh, I didn't. That's better. Oh, I had my hand on the wrong knob. <laughs> 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 oh dear! We laugh, don't we? At the end of the day, we laugh. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, Cheryl Cole getting fired from the X Factor in America. You got that absolutely right. Okay. Second one. I asked you which major international event was inadvertently live tweeted at 1 a.m. on the 1st of May. Did you get this? Yes. Okay. What did, what did you What did you go? Um, the assassination of Noel Edmonds. <laughs> They found that he was in this compound uh, where he'd been hiding for many, many years. And uh, the US Marines um, came in and um, they knew it was him because he had a very, very tiny beard. And, um, and Barack Obama was watching and he, he said, shoot him. Um, and Noel Edmonds, luck, you know, fortunately, we Didn't now live it. in a much better world because Noel Edmonds is dead. Is that right? You were so close. I know. You've got all it the was detail right with there. The beard, was not it? Tiny... It was someone with a beard. It was definitely someone with a beard. Uh, Jamie. Yeah, I thought it was the assassination of Bin Laden. He got it straight away. I think he's right. In, in that little bungalow. <laughs> Looked a little bit like where my nan lived. Okay, uh, David and Eddie, what did you go for? Cooked his own spleen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a common answer. Right, yeah, so yeah. Jonathan and Jamie get the points there because I'm Bin Laden was. I've just. Ja Jamie Bin says La I should give this guy. I've come yeah. up with a joke and I want you to be kind, okay? Come on, do the joke. Because I'm not sure if it's This is a good one. Okay. He likes it. Okay, go on. Do you know where you were when they killed Osama? No, that's wrong. Um, <laughs> when they told me that Bin had been killed, I said, Wheelie? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing the matter with that. He said, do it. I'll do, I'll, do, I'll do one back. Osama bin Laden, jihad it coming. <laughs> I know what you did last Osama. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Evans asked you, who inspired Burmese campaigner Aung San Suu Kyi during her time in prison? What did you put? Richard Keyes and Andy Gray. Again, again, oh. it's not the answer to this question, <laughs> but if we go back a few months, <laughs> it's, it's the correct answer. <laughs> so, you know... Uh, so you've gone for David and Eddie. Uh, Dave Lee Travis's World Service uh, music show. So you think that it's a hairy cornflake? Yeah. yeah. OK, all right. And you've gone for Jonathan Jamie? I think the radio show so. saved her life. Let's go back to Lee to find out. Unbelievably, <laughs> it was the hairy cornflake himself, Dave Lee Travis. Amazing. <laughs> OK. Um, next up, I asked you what Obama did in Ireland that the Queen didn't. What did you put? Buy Miranda on DVD. <laughs> because she refuses to watch it. Because, to her, it's quite rude. David and Eddie, <laughs> what, what have you got for this? We said that the Queen drank a pint of Guinness that uh, Barack Obama refused to, <laughs> except it's the other way round. <laughs> oh, you saved that at the last minute. OK. Uh, Jonathan and Jamie, what did you think that uh, Obama did that the Queen refused to? 
Jedward. Yeah. <laughs> you think Obama did Jedward? No. <laughs> Obama met Jedward. Jedward. And then I don't think the Queen would understand Jedward. No. Or they're banging and now. I think she would think she was drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jedward. But Obama, he'd get Jedward, he'd be down with Jedward, he'd love Jedward. He'd probably well, take Jedward. Well, I can, home. I can tell you that David and Eddie are absolutely right. That's the great dancer. We, we've oh. even got a still of Obama enjoying a pint of Guinness. There's, there, there he is. And we've, got, and we've got a picture of the Queen being offered Guinness and turning it down. It's one of those birds that sort of goes into it like that, and that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And finally, in this round, uh, what was the old man apologising for? What, what did you go for, uh, David and Eddie? Uh, the rapture, the end of the world rapture thing, which he missed, and then they repostponed it until about October, from May to October. Okay. And what did you go for? Uh, well, Jamie said end of the world thing, and I said the rapture, and then he wrote it with a W, so I made him correct it. <laughs> Oh, it's not too embarrassed. So we, we spelt. <laughs> well, D David and Miranda, which you probably nailed this, you probably got it absolutely right. Apologising for writing Jimmy Carr's jokes. Well, I can tell you that that was preacher Harold Camping apologising after the rapture or Armageddon failed to happen on the 21st oh, of May. What an idiot. <laughs> Do you think that would be something you wouldn't have to apologise for, oh, the yeah. fact that the world didn't end? You think, yeah, cheer up, mate, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now it's time for a special bonus round about movies. I'm going to show you pictures from three of the biggest movies of the year. They've all been subtly improved. Can you tell me what the films are? Here's your first one. The name of the film, yeah? The name of the film. OK, so that's the first one. Here is the second one. Oh. There I am. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. That was a long weekend, wasn't it, Jimmy? And the third one? I don't see why you're laughing at that. <laughs> OK, so you've got to name all three movies. All came out this year. OK. OK, answers. What have, what have you gone for? Hangover, Tintin, Black Swan. Oh, Hangover Black 2, Swan. Tintin, Black Swan. You've nailed that, I think. Yeah. It is fair to say. Uh, Jonathan, Jamie, you've gone with? We've got Hangover 2 and Tintin, and we couldn't remember Black Swan, and we thought you looked a bit like Boy, Boy George, George in that picture. <laughs> I think you do look a lot like him. <laughs> What have you gone for, David and Miranda? Carry, carry on, on camping. camping. Carry on <laughs> screaming. And carry, carry on, on bumming. bumming. Which is, is the new one that because they've, it's not really entendres anymore. They've no. just kind of just, just going straight it. for <laughs> single it jokes. How it so is. that's one of the new ones that they've done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, look. It's the the first one was the uh, yes we write the Hangover two. There you go. The second one was uh, Tintin. I think yes. I look better as Tintin than he does. And then the third one was, of course, Black Swan. See, that makeup, you should try that. You should try yeah. that makeup. Because you actually look quite nice there. You know what? Black With that makeup on, thing. Jimmy, you could be in my transsexual summer next year. <laughs> You're doing transsexual summer? They're doing, they, they, uh, there's always transsexual summers going on, but it's a TV show now. It's a bit like Grand Design. They're always either building an erection or knocking food downstairs to make more room. <laughs> Let's check in on the scores. Uh, David and Eddie have got 15 points. Uh, David and Miranda are still on yeah. nil point. Jonathan and Jamie have 14 points. <laughs> so you and the David and Eddie and And as David Cameron likes to say in times of national crisis, time for a short break. See you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. As we move into British summertime, it can only mean one thing. It's time to pop on your balaclava and nip to your local JD Sports. <laughs> in August, riots broke out in major cities and Wolverhampton. <laughs> in Croydon, windows were smashed. Shops closed their doors, feral youths wandered in violent gangs and some streets became virtual no-go areas. And then the riots began. <laughs> OK, ready for some more Big Fat Questions? Yes! Yeah. Let's do it! <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> in July, the phone hacking scandal resulted in the closure of the news of the world. But what was the final newspaper headline? <laughs> okay. You all got something for that? Final headline for the news of the world. Let's look at that. Okay. How did a bag of Tesco value basmati rice propel one Londoner to global fame? What the fucking hell does that say? <laughs> I can't help it if my... It's not pretty handwriting. This handwriting is unbelievable. I'm trying my I've got a very special treat for you. You ready for this? Yes. It's a special treat, OK? For your next question, it's over to the legendary drummer, Animal. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 Oh! Hi, Jimmy! David, hey! Boxer. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Those big fight, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. 
what is excuse? <laughs> okay, so what was uh, what was his excuse for losing the fight? Okay. Yep. Okay, in which unlikely location would you have been able to find a spinning teacup ride, a solid gold dessert trolley, and an album full of photos of Condoleezza Rice? David and Miranda, I can I can only dream. <laughs> Jamie and Jonathan, who knows? Yeah, we're, we're there. Okay, you there. Good, good. Okay. They're all over that. It's time now for a say what you see puzzle. Have a look at these series of pictures. It spells out a news event like this. Shh, don't say out loud. <laughs> We've got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> you got, Eddie, you got it? Uh, yeah, you got everything? Done. All done, okay. We haven't done it yet, hold it. We Jamie, did. Jonathan, come on. He's writing a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I need to say something. You need to say something. <laughs> David Williams has just done the smelliest part. This is what Christmas is all about. <laughs> it's actually me. <laughs> <laughs> My chair suddenly and it just slipped like, out. Actually, it's made you feel sick it's enough to move. Made, it, you know when a smell sort of gets right into your throat. <laughs> well, the problem is his anal muscles are shot to hell. He can't. He <laughs> <laughs> just sounds like this. He just sounds like. <sighs> <laughs> I can sort of tell how hot it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's kind of pretty much gone now. Okay, all right. Okay, well, Miranda, stay there for safety for now. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> did anyone remember the uh, the news of the world's final headline? Yes. Yes. Okay. What what have you got, John? We've still got your numbers. That's what they said. Remember it very clearly. That's what they said. It was a threat. Wait, did they hack anyone phone here, Miranda? All they get is uh, number seven. A number 41. <laughs> <laughs> and extra spring rolls. That's what <laughs> <they're getting. laughs> what, so people were leaving messages with Chinese people <laughs> on your phone? Yeah. No one rings I me. I don't understand. <laughs> you were posing as a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> yeah, you're also getting calls saying, well, where's all the fucking food? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the joke backfired. <laughs> Okay. Well, he's he's really put it properly. through the logic machine. He's There's done, nothing you can he's do. He's done this Mitchell logic thing. The joy thing. destroying logic machine. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Britain. <laughs> okay, David, what did you put? We're sorry for being dirty shitters. <laughs> You're the <What>? dirty shitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> All right. yeah, I've got a bad time. I've got an upset tummy. You've got an upset tummy. You've upset Miranda's now. Okay. <laughs> David and Eddie, you went for. We've cooked. We've cooked our spleen. They <laughs> <laughs> were using it, the spleen metaphorically. Yeah. They didn't mean it li literally. They were just saying, that's it for us. We've cooked our spleen. We've cooked our spleen, as they say. <laughs> no one says yes, that. Yes, it's a well known, well known expression for a newspaper closing. <laughs> well, that's it. Should we have a look at the final headline for the News of the World? Let's have a look. It was. It was... Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you and goodbye. OK, I asked you how a bag of value rice brought global notoriety to one Londoner. What did you put? Oh, oh Miranda has the answer. Richard Keyes and Andy Gray. It's going to keep on coming. <laughs> well, until you get a point on that, you're going to keep on so, putting yeah, it. Because yeah. I got it right. So what did you put, uh, Jamie? We think the bag of rice contained one of Willy Wonka's golden <laughs> tickets. <laughs> <laughs> that he got to visit Willy Wonka's... Rice factor, <laughs> which wasn't really as exciting for a child <laughs> as the earlier events in the chocolate factory. <laughs> this is just a large room in which a notice explains that rice is an agricultural crop yeah. and isn't manufactured. There are several rooms. There's a pilau room and there's a boiled room and there's an egg fried room. <laughs> and that's it. I wish I had an egg fried room. There's a risotto room. I'd spend all day in the egg fried room. I think David Williams has quite recently. <laughs> 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 OK, uh, David and Eddie, you, you, you've got this. What have you put? Well, we don't know the answer, so we guessed. I was wondering, what, what, did he fight rioters to stop them stealing it? That is almost the opposite of what happened. Uh, what basically happened was he looted a bag of value rice <laughs> and then posted a photo on the internet, proudly holding it. <laughs> have you ever stolen anything, Eddie Izzard? Yeah, I stole makeup when I was 15. Wow. And I got caught. Hang on. Let's, let's come to this. You see, go on about being a trans... I never see you in a dress. I know, but it's a brilliant tax dodge. <laughs> I've never worn a dress, so I, you know, I'm new in this area. 
Can I just say, I have never thought that when I came out as being a transvestite, I get hassled by people saying, you're not a transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> you're not dressing up as a woman enough. I, I like exactly. it. Exactly. I want it's more It's completely of it. inverse. We have moved into the third millennium. Surely you're not a transvestite. <laughs> and people bullying me at school, you're not a transvestite. I'm not a transvestite. That's not you. You've got to have a bloody dress if you're a transvestite. <laughs> OK, that's great that we've got to this place. Thank you. Well, yeah. They still haven't caught this fella. He's, well, he's probably eating a lot of rice. He's much bigger now. <laughs> I like I like wise. <laughs> I, think, I think it's official. I think we've hit a new low on this show. <laughs> I, I just wanted to put that out there. I like wise. That is I one of that... your best stories. I know. <laughs> if you're on Parkinson, start with that story. <laughs> you know. I was somewhat baffled in the riots because, like, you know, when it was all kicking off in Clapham. Yeah. Well, you know, they did the whole street. And the only two shops they didn't do was Waterstones and my cookery school. <laughs> and I just couldn't get me head around it. <laughs> but to be fair, apparently there was a DVD shop near me and they were smashing the window to put his DVD back in. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Animal asked you what excuse boxer David Hay gave for losing his fight. What did you get? Broken toe. Broken that he had sore wrists. <laughs> to his fighting like that. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get you know, purchased with a strong wrist. Do th you know that? That. Yeah. You know that that, that we, we do what we do at home. That's good. <laughs> Fisty cuffs, I think it's called. <laughs> this is a family show. Not anymore. Who's <laughs> 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 that? Who's <that? laughs> family? Okay, uh, David, Eddie, what did you put? Broken big toe. Small toe. Well, let's go back to Animal for the answer. Ha ha ha! He says broke his toe. <laughs> Animal can fight him. Boom, 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 boom. Animal can take Jimmy too. Boom, 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 Animal, love it. Slightly surreal moment. Yeah. So you got that, Jonathan and Jamie, and you got that, David and Eddie, and you didn't get that, David and Miranda. There's a pattern emerging here. We're going to break that pattern very soon. <laughs> OK. So, in which location, yeah. an unlikely location, we think, would you have been able to find the following items? A spinning teacup ride, a solid gold dessert trolley, and an album full of photos of Condoleezza Rice. David and Miranda, come on, you can get a point here. You've Jimmy got a point. Jimmy Carr's house. <laughs> because you're on the ride, eating your food, Looking at pictures of Condoleezza Rice and touching yourself. It is not it's <laughs> gold. The one in my house you. is gold plated. Ah. It's solid gold. Oh, shit. Okay, well, what did you go for, uh, we, were, we wasn't sure if it was your place, Michael Jackson's, or actually we settled on David Williams's masturbatorium. <laughs> Are we right or wrong? It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> David and Eddie? Uh, Colonel Gaddafi's Pleasure Palace. No, was it? Oh, yes, it was. That no. is the right answer. <laughs> We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. Okay, time to say what you saw. Here is the picture. Yeah. What did you get? Uh, Jonathan and Jamie, what did we you get? We could not get this uh, at all. We were thinking it's harp, there's a harp, there's a pair. Harp of a... So in the end, we went for some pictures of some balls. <laughs> the Nazis are in. Uh, <laughs> David, Eddie, any, any thoughts on this? We, we got it right. You think you got it right? Well, let's just check in with David and Miranda, because you haven't got any points so far. What do you think this is? Harper Seven Born! That is the correct answer. You get a point. That first point. Oh, okay. point. Yes, you got a point. You made quite a, a point. Quite a fuss. So we won. <laughs> you are not. You are not currently in the lead, but you oh, are. Right. You're well, on the close. board. Close to We're third. <laughs> you are third. third place. Close you are third place. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Now it's time for Who Am I? The part of the show where I introduce a mystery the guest. The Jimmy Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Another point. <laughs> Just, just wait and listen to the whole thing. Oh, the question sorry, is that sorry. Now it's time for Who Am I? Jimmy Carr! <laughs> now it's time for the part of the show that doesn't have a name, 
But it's where I introduce a mystery guest. All you have to do is guess who they are and how they made the news. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our mystery guest. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. Now you can ask yes or no questions only, okay? A couple of little questions, and then you have to tell me why this lady made the news. Okay? Uh, I love your hair. I think it looks lovely. Is it something to do with fashion or design or shops or something? No. I can confirm this is not Vivian Westwood. <laughs> <laughs> is, you, um, is what you're involved in on the news? Were you on YouTube? Was it an internet thing? Yes. Well, uh, were you uh, to do with the riots? No. <laughs> was it on the news? Yes. Do you believe Eddie Izzard is an actual transvestite? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can answer that. Do you think he's an actual no. transvestite? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a lesbian. <laughs> I got a Do you like rice? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Have you bought Jimmy Carr's new DVD? No. No. <laughs> were the colour of the jacket you're wearing, was that the same colour you were wearing in the thing that appeared on the internet? Yes. That... Thank you. And can I say oh. what a lovely sort of jacket it is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you become famous uh, doing something good? Yes. I think David Williams has just had one of his moments. I e um a well, uh, well, don't answer. You've did, got to write it down you... if you think you know. Oh, oh if you think David! You know. <laughs> okay, so we've got three answers. So who do you want to go to first? Who do you think? Who do you think will know? Oh, I think three. the middle couple. The middle. Okay, so we're David couple. and Rose. We don't have names, but we're the middle couple. <laughs> um, I I think she stopped a robber. <laughs> Um, with a handbag. Okay, and Jonathan and Jamie, what have you gone for? We've got Hannah Go here. We saw, I think you're the lady who, with a handbag, attacked some uh, guys trying to smash into a shop. Or the geezer on the motorbike who looked like me in the naked chef. The guy chef. like the naked chef who looks yeah. like Jamie widen off and you quite rightly attacked him. <laughs> Eddie, David, what have you got? We said that she saved a spleen from certain death. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a look at what this lady did and why she made the news. This is incredible. <laughs> Using, using just, you've got to tell us what happened. Tell us what happened. So you're wandering down the high street, you see some guys going towards the bank. I was talking to a friend, actually, and uh, we heard some revving of engines and a clash. And when I turned round, it looked like one boy was being chased by three others. And they'd got sticks. I knew they'd got sticks. I didn't know they were sledgehammers, but... There were sticks to me. <laughs> yeah, you know, sticks, sledgehammers, same thing. Same thing. And I raced up because I thought the one boy was going to get such a beating and I wasn't going to stand there and watch it. Wow. Bless you. Oh. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> and, and then, and then did, you, did you realise there was a robbery taking place? About three or four yards from the actual point, um, the four boys came round the bend and were smashing the glass of the windows with sledgehammers, but I'd already got there. I just thought, oops, and I just went straight in. Yeah, we need more people like this. This is amazing. Mm. But did they... What, what happened in the end? What's the ending? Did they catch them? Yes. Can I ask you, what on earth do you carry in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just one thing. That guy went flying. Rice, I reckon. Is it rice? <laughs> Not quite. You're a good woman. We love you. You're amazing. That's well, great. Yeah. Properly amazing. Thank I, you. You, I mean, I'm not quibbling or anything, but where were you during the August riots? Because <laughs> no, no one's having a go, but you should really have been in Croydon keeping an eye yeah. out. Because it all kicked off. We needed about an army of you. <laughs> Let's just check in on the, on the scores at the end of that. David and Eddie have 18 points. Uh, Jonathan and Jamie are trailing with 16. 16. David and Miranda have two points. Woo! 
Animals. We're going to take a short break now, but let's hear it one more time for Super Gran and Timson. Yeah. And Timson, everyone. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz, and as a special treat, we've got a bonus round all about this year's television. Downton Abbey went from strength to strength. Despite its setting, Downton Abbey deals with the issues that are still relevant today. There's not a day goes by that I don't worry about whether it's OK to hit a servant with an open hand. <laughs> the show won two BAFTAs, five Emmys, and Maggie Smith won the cover to Jimmy Carr, You Know What, I Still Would Award. <laughs> Just saying, handsome woman. OK. 2011 was the year of the scripted reality show, with Made in Chelsea, The Only Way is Essex, Geordie Shaw and Desperate Scouse Wives all pulling in big audiences. I like to shorten The Only Way is Essex by switching it off halfway through. <laughs> Made in Chelsea was a brilliant idea for a show. It was ruined for me, though, by one small detail. Everyone in it and everything they did and said. <laughs> Let's have a look at some of this year's TV highlights. On your marks, get set. Break! What is pie? Where did it come from? <laughs> It's not makeup on me at all. Really? No, that's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm back. I'm wearing the gun. I'm standing at the North Pole, the very top of the Earth. OK, you saw a clip from the Great British Bake Off there, but what distracting natural phenomenon shocked viewers during the final? In, in the Great British Bake Off? In the, in the final of the Great British Bake Off. It's a natural phenomenon. It's if you not, saw it, I think you would the, remember. It's, it's not going to be the workings of yeast, is it? They'd be expecting that. <laughs> they were fully <laughs> expecting the workings yeah. of the yeast. It was an extraordinary okay. thing. OK. Here's a special treat for you. Mouseland's hardest-working detective has taken a break from living up with the easy crew to ask us a question. It's over to Rasta Mouse. Ah. <laughs> Greetings, Jimmy. Rasta Mouse here. Me and the easy crew love a good tune. So we know there's a lot of people out there that's going to be proper excited to hear that Steps is reforming. <laughs> but can the panel tell me the names of all five of the brethren and the sistren in the band? So, can you name the five brethren and sister in, in step? <laughs> we weren't really listening. We were just surprised to see Rasta Mouse on the show. I like Rasta Mouse. What was Rasta Mouse's question? His question was, can you name all the members of Steps? Yeah. Can you? Of course you can. <laughs> Finally, a question David Williams knows. Just look at your tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about them reforming. Really? Tragedy. <laughs> Tragedy. Tragedy. <laughs> um, <laughs> da -da 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 I've met all of Step. <laughs> How did you meet all of Step? That you was the actual routine. That was <laughs> just ask another question. <laughs> I just did the routine. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you meet all of Step? Was it in a sauna? I met, no, <laughs> I met them on the Alan Carr show. I mean, That's a like, dream come true. It's like meeting the Beatles, isn't it? <laughs> it's all wrong. A band called Steps, it's wrong. It's... Why don't you like them to be called Steps? Because it's like a painter called Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> or a band called Notes, you know. Not um... a They're not a ladder. <laughs> well, that's what it is. It's like, a, I mean, it's, it's just, like it's a, just wrong. It's like a, an author called Mr Words. Yeah, it's just... It's <laughs> Words just... with. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to put... If you're gonna put... <laughs> <laughs> you just would have put you right out. My English teacher at school was called Mr. Sentence. <laughs> it's absolutely true. His that parents did not try. Right. His parents did not try. He could have been a judge. He could have been a judge. He could have been a, a paedophile. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and finally, we've got a question from Jim Carter, better known as Downton Abbey's loyal butler, Carson. Good evening, Mr. Carr. <laughs> This year, the Prime Minister appeared on the BBC's The One Show. Now, what ill-mannered question did the host, a Mr Matt Baker, have the temerity to ask the Prime Minister? OK, if you saw that, you would remember. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You know oh. they were going to call it Steps, the one show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're on Channel One, so, you know, BBC One, so they call it the one show, and they, they tried. Yeah, they linked. Right. I would like yeah. to have been at that ideas meeting. I get that. I, I bet that was held at five thirty on a Friday. <laughs> it's also, you need it's, a name for the show. It's a clever double meaning because it also implies that it's the only show, <laughs> and basically that's the only rationale under which anyone would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready? Have you got something down, Jamie? You got something? Yeah, got it all, mate. You got? Oh, you got it all. A bit of confidence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Miranda, David, yeah, we, got we got it now. We got it. Yes. <laughs> all right. <I'm> finished. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> no bonus points for flirting, but if there were, <laughs> you would get one. 116 <laughs> points <laughs> to us. OK, so uh, what were viewers of The Great British Bake Off horrified by? Did she put some wee in the cake to make the yeast rise or something? Oh, some wee in the cake? <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Oliver! Hey, Why so would you think that? Why would your mind go there? Technically, urine. Urine would help a cake taste nice. Pissier. <laughs> it, would, it would react with the, uh, the baking powder and make it give it more Ammonia lift. Ammonia in. <laughs> if you pee on your feet, it's Just what special forces do. You pee on your feet and it makes your feet stronger. So if you pee in a cake, it'll make the cake stronger and it Rice. can do more marathons. <laughs> when you did the marathons, did, were you peeing on your feet? I was. I was peeing on my feet. Wow. Did you seriously pee on your feet? I, I did. Not you... seriously. More casually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could ever do it in an earnest way. I was quite relaxed when I was doing it. Not so serious. And so were you, were you like the soles of your feet or the... Well, that's the tricky one. You have to bounce off. You do ricochet. You, to... you have to put your feet up. You have to pee. You have to hit the... Bing, ding, no, pretend you, you know, just so. pee a puddle and then sort of paddle in it. <laughs> oh, no, I would want it to be piping hot. <laughs> <laughs> OK, David and Eddie, you went for... A tiny hurricane in the icing. <laughs> well, a hurricane is a natural phenomenon, and that would be shocking on a cake. OK. <laughs> David and Miranda, you're our only hope. Shocking. David Wyndham's farted and then knocked over a profiterole. <laughs> <laughs> that, I can believe that's incorrect. And I can tell you the answer is they were, they were shocked and appalled by the appearance of a squirrel with a giant penis and testicles. <laughs> so, <laughs> That was just in the opening titles, they cut to a squirrel. David, where did you get that outfit from? It's brilliant. <laughs> Someone clearly said to him, show us your nuts. And... Oh. <laughs> the BBC is a public service broadcaster. It can't go around showing the genitals of animals. No, the... <laughs> what are they to <laughs> lock that cock off? What are the, what are the animals <laughs> supposed to be doing with their genitals? <laughs> Hiding them in a handbag it's or something? It's not the animal's fault. It's the fault of the BBC That's what a squirrel and the liberal like media stands up. for not having... How do, they, how do they do the big ones where David, David uh, Attenborough goes out there? How do they shoot that stuff without showing any genitalia? <laughs> they put their pants on, on tigers and lions and <laughs> they, they, pen, they, they spend do? months putting bras on penguins. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so Rastamouse asked you... So no-one got that right. So Rastamouse asked you, uh, name all five members of Steps. Hope you all got them. I you didn't got, know there were five. We I got four. four. We got four. We you got, got four. H, Lisa, Benny and Bjorn. <laughs> David and Eddie, what did you go for? We, got, we knew H, and so then we speculated. I, J, K, OK, uh, David and Miranda, this might be your specialist subject. OK, yeah. H. Lee. Lee Claire, Claire. Lisa. Lisa Faye. Faye. Yes! Yeah, Yeah. Adorable and correct. OK, yeah. let's, uh, let's go back to Rastamouse, just see if you got that right. Yo, greetings again. Me can tell you the five members of Steps are Claire, Lee, Lisa, Faye, and, of course, your favourite, Jimmy, H. <laughs> OK, for a bonus point... For a bonus point, why is he called H? You can't just say no, this for a bonus no, point. For a bonus point, you know it. for a bonus point, yeah. it's because... He's hyperactive, so he was given the nickname H. And that's a bonus point question. Wow. One point to us. Oh, another bonus point question. What's his real name? Ian. For a bonus Ian. Two Ian. bonus points. Two, bo a two bonus points, Dave. <laughs> For a bonus point, <laughs> what age was Pitt the Younger made Chancellor of the Exchequer? Yeah. <laughs> 23. Sorry. Yes, 23, you're right. Sorry, you're right. Point. I've got I one point. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be fourth place. You're catching up on it. <laughs> For a, a couple more history questions, and I think I could beat those yeah. two. <laughs> okay. And finally, Carson the butler from Downton asked you, "What did Matt Baker ask David Cameron on the One Show? Any thoughts?" 
Do you like rice? <laughs> Good question, by the way. Good question. <laughs> right, right. That's very that. rude to ask somebody, isn't it? Do you it's like a bit rice? edgy for the one show. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, David and Eddie? How do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? Sleep Jonathan, at night? Jamie? Exactly the same. How do you sleep at night? Well, let's have a look at the clip. Uh, uh, honestly, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. pleasure. It's really lovely to come on. Wonderful, really wonderful. Nice. Just very quickly, how on earth do you sleep at night? <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't think Matt Baker has bought a drink since. OK, for a bonus point... Oh, stop with your bonus point. For a bonus <laughs> point, what position did Matt Baker get to in Strictly Come Dancing? Third. Third place, bonus point. Bonus point. <laughs> OK, for nine bonus points... <laughs> when's my birthday? Uh, 7th of February, so I'm on nine bonus points. <laughs> it wouldn't be Christmas without some unexpected visitors. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome with our next question. From The Only Way is Essex, it's Lydia, Lauren and Kirk. Hi. 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 Hello. 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 Well, nice to have you on. I can't Thank believe you. our luck. So, we're taking a night off from the Sugar Hut. Yes. Yeah. Well done, you. Um, now, I believe you've got a question for us. Have Girls you? are going to do the question. We have. You've got a question. Okay. What's the question? So, this year, um, the only way Essex went to Marbella. But what simple diet rule did we stick to in order to look well ream on the beach? <laughs> you've got to write it down. I know it. Of course you, you know it. Down, what simple it would rule. mean you couldn't enjoy rice. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to do a job really write there. it down. Simple OK, rule. so let's have the question What's... again, because Eddie looks quite confused yeah, as, yeah, to, yeah. as yes. to who or what you are and what the question is. <laughs> They're from The Only Way to Essex. Have you seen the show, Eddie? The Only Way to Essex is Essex and there's only one way. <laughs> So which simple di diet rule did we did we follow in order Easy. to look well ream on the beach? Well ream, which means well ream, fucking fantastic. Yeah. Well good. <laughs> it does mean fucking fantastic. What are the words? Because like, you've introduced other words to the to the English language, haven't you? Gel, well yeah. gel. Well gel means really, really jealous. jealous. Okay, well gel, ream and uh, ream bejazzle. And sharp. Bejazzle. 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 Sharp. Sharp is not. You can't really claim you invented sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, people were saying. For a I think a lot of people say it to you as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just got. I come from Essex. I don't know what what is vajazzle. Oh, oh vajazzle. That's actually from America, but it's like diamonds down there. Down where? Diamonds in your uh, vagina. Yes. Yeah. Can we just have a look at one of your? <laughs> You've no, never heard of vajazzle. No. Girls, you know uh, Jamie's an expert. The male version. He's been paninied. That's very. <laughs> <laughs> so do you just shove diamonds up your vagina? No, no, you, you sort of... You, <laughs> Eddie, no, Eddie. It's not that, like they're not smugglers. smuggling <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically making the vagina a bit more sparkly. <laughs> a bit more showbiz and fun for people like David, who like vaginas, but also like a bit of glamour. <laughs> Are you yeah. hoping for, like, a spin-off show like, like Jamie? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No. You're from Essex, you've got a big TV show. You must have started on The Only Way to Essex. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to the Sugar Hut? No, is it good? It's good. No, I'm going to say that, obviously, but, yeah, oh. it's all right. It's is man, it banging? It's green. Can we come after the show tonight come to the Sugar Hut? Yay! Cheers! <laughs> this is me trying to fit in with you. <laughs> Go. I'd like yeah, to go. Why don't we go? Can we go and have a night out? <laughs> Come and see some vajazzles. <laughs> You'll Let's see bring the ladies. Go Come down on. There. Wow. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't need disco balls, would you? You'd just hang these chicks from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put a light on them. They'd just be these, like, vaginal shapes just glittering. <laughs> <laughs> and like, all these old fellas would turn up and just think they're in heaven. Oh. <laughs> what in heaven just thinking about it? <laughs> good, good. OK, all right, so you've got the question. You've all got something written down yeah. for this? Yeah. OK, yeah. all right, so let's, let's have a look and see what they put. No carbs before Mars. No carbs before Mars. You do not have carbs <laughs> before you go to Marb. OK, David, <laughs> David and Miranda went with... ..to have no chips with a KFC bargain bucket. <laughs> <laughs> because it's good, you it's just have the chicken. Up. You just have the deep-fried chicken. It's just the chicken, that the same, no carbs. And there's a free Wolves Vionetta with every bargain bucket. You can have that, that's really? fine. David and Eddie, what have you gone for? <laughs> Could it be sperm munching? <laughs> Ladies? No, that was not the answer, I'm Well, afraid. it would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would have been. OK, all right, so what was the correct answer? They can't perform arms. They can't perform arms. Yay! Well done, David. This one was good, similar as well. They took out the carbohydrates. OK, well, let's see how the scores are at this stage. So, Jonathan and Jamie have 18 points. Thank you. David and Eddie have 19 points. They're in the lead. David and Miranda have three points. Woo! OK. We're going to take a short break while the girls give me, well, not a vajazzle, obviously, but maybe glitter balls. See you then. <laughs> Christmas <in. laughs> Well.
welcome back to the big fat quiz of the year. And as the intercepted voicemail of July and August results in the select committee hearings of September and October, let's remind ourselves <laughs> what happened. Bruce Forsyth was finally given a knighthood. It must have been an amazing sight to see a woman too old to pick up a sword, knight a man too old to kneel down. <laughs> Blackberry apologised after a three-day loss of service. In a statement, the head of Blackberry said, we are working day and night to error some text missing. <laughs> the great David Walliams swam the Thames and raised £1 million pounds for charity. <laughs> there are some disgusting things floating in the Thames, and for ten days, David Walliams was one of them. Well, you came to see me, which I came was very to see you nice. In Henley for sort of half. I know it was lovely, and you kind of gave me like a massage and everything. <laughs> Miranda came and visited I too. I did, yes. Some people didn't come. Um, <laughs> I, I couldn't be fucked. But you. Uh... <laughs> well, what did you raise? It was over a million, One, wasn't it? One point two. That's million. amazing, brother. Wow. Right. Properly impressive. <laughs> Properly good thing to do. <laughs> I mean, it's no, it's no forty-three marathons in fifty-one days, but it's still <laughs> okay. No, it, it, it's, it's really... Swimming is really difficult. You're only swimming about three miles an hour, four miles an hour? It's two. Crazy. Two miles an hour. It's, yeah. it's really tough. It is tough. My thing's are easy-peasy compared to his thing. Well, OK, then. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we'll have, we'll have a couple of questions, OK? Yeah. And for our first question, it's over to rock god Lenny Kravitz. Hello, Jimmy. As you know, I'm a huge fan of particle physics. <laughs> but can your teams tell me why Albert Einstein may have been fairly alarmed back in September. Was it because you wouldn't take your sunglasses off? Yeah. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz there, particle physicist yeah, and guitarist. OK. This year, Rihanna had a run-in with a farmer in Northern Ireland, Alan Graham. What happened? There he is. Rihanna had a run-in with that man. Got it. Got the answer. Have you written it down? <laughs> yeah. We've got it. We've done it. We've got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And finally, it's back over to Jon Snow in the Channel 4 newsroom for another report on a song of the year. Jon, over to you. An unlikely economist has released new guidelines to help Britain cope during the recession. The London-based expert indicated that she does not need our money... money... <laughs> money... and is keen to implement a new fiscal policy that would effectively make the world dance. The report commissioned by Coconut Man and Moonheads claims that during an economic downturn, Everyone should look to the left, then everyone should look to the right. <laughs> it goes on to conclude that it's not about the cha-ching, cha-ching, and warns that Britain should be less concerned about the babbling, babbling. <laughs> Back to you, Jimmy. John Snow there. It's a legend. Well, and what's the question? So the, so the question was, what song was he reporting on? One of the songs of the year. Yeah, I mean, that song, the, that song that goes like the, what he said, that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> well, have a dart at it. It's the, one of the biggest selling artists this year. I think oh. the third biggest selling artist this year. I okay. It's working. Okay, uh, David, Miranda, uh, Jamie, Jonathan, are you all ready? Yeah. Have you got everything? Okay. Uh, let's put you out of your misery with some answers. Uh, Lenny Kravitz asked you why Einstein might have been fairly alarmed back in September. Any thoughts? Then they, they believe at the Hadron Collider that neutrinos, they might have got neutrinos, they've got evidence they travel faster than the speed of light, which if you go with Einstein's, one of his theories, the famous one, <laughs> it's not possible. OK, what, what did you go for, David? And neutrinos Eddie? faster than the speed of light. Neutrinos faster than the speed of light. Oh, well, I imagine Miranda and David have got this right as well. Um, oh, yeah. Einstein found out his moustache had been bejazzled. <laughs> 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 Let's go back to Lenny Kravitz for the answer. It was because scientists believed that they had proved that the speed of light was no longer the fastest thing in the universe. Eat it, Einstein. <laughs> He's slightly flirting with me. He's flirting with Einstein. Yeah. OK. Oh. Lenny Kravitz, there. I've met his cousin. <laughs> I've, I've met Do you, his does he like rice? <laughs> I've met Lenny Kravitz's cousin, that's a true story, OK? So I don't want to name drop, but I've met his cousin. Yeah. <laughs> I've met his daughter. Have you? A couple of times. Really? Well, I've met his cousin, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so why did farmer Alan Graham have beef with Rihanna? Anyone? Uh, she took a top off on his farm. Yes, he's, he is the man in the UK that didn't want to see Rihanna with a top off. <laughs> Found the one man. Uh, David, Miranda, what did you put for this? Um, Rihanna and the farmer made sweet, sweet musical love, love in the field and she farted. Oh! 
<laughs> you know, the farm was like, no, thank you, dear. Get out. Get oh, out. Get, get off my land. Get off my land. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, Jamie, what did you get? He pulled the shoot because it was getting too kinky, and there was like kissing and, and a bit of titty action. So it off, <laughs> off. Get off my land. <laughs> get off my land because she had a top off in the, the gym. Gym. Then Jamie was... not only told you, he kind of acted part of it out as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. For a moment, like... I thought I was sitting next to the farm. I thought I thought I was on Jimmy's farm all of a sudden. Yeah. Wow. yeah. There, there she is, and I believe I believe that top came off during the video shoot. Fantastic. And he, he wasn't happy about but that. But also, what was he doing? The people who own where Downton Abbey is filmed weren't coming in the whole time saying, "Look, no. come on, none of this makes sense." <laughs> It's two years later, but they don't seem to have had a conversation. I agree. Why isn't anyone getting any older? <laughs> <laughs> I think what they've all missed is how did he know what she was doing? Well, he was angry because she, even though she was in the middle of the field naked, he could see it really clearly with a his telescope. giant telescope yeah. <laughs> in his masturbatorium. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jonathan and Jamie got that, and David and Eddie got that. Thank okay. you very much. David and Miranda, not so much. And finally, on this round, Jon Snow reported on another of the year's biggest songs. Did anyone get it? Yes. Jonathan, Jamie? Money, Money, Money by Susan Boyle. <laughs> no. <laughs> David, Miranda? We weren't concentrating Confused, again. Confused, because Jon he, Snow, he's, he's got gone nuts. Because he's meant to be reading the news and he's it just It just keeps, gibberish. like, song lyrics and stuff. Not, he's it's gone weird. weird. It's weird, Jimmy. <laughs> Well, you're our best hope, and I'm, I'm, the hope is all is lost. It, I want your money. I, something like I want your money by Jesse J. Is it? So we'll give you that, Jesse J. Uh, it was price tag. Price tag. All right, let's have a little look at the price tag. Check it's out price tag. He's no steps. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Time for another little bonus round. This time it's all about virals. Let's see how many of these you remember, OK? Um, Beyonce was all over the news all year, but why did a clip of an encounter with an overexcited fan go viral? Oh, yeah, so it's a clip of Beyonce with an overexcited fan. It went viral. Everyone saw it. Yeah. OK. David, Miranda, what have you got? He knows this. It's because... Um... Beyonce sat on the fan and, and, and squashed her to death. <laughs> no? Uh, Jonathan, Jamie? We, I, this is a great clip. We actually we know the answer. Yeah, we do. She goes out near the audience and she's singing along and then they're all going crazy and this girl sees it goes nuts. She goes, I love you, Beyonce, I love you, Beyonce. And then Beyonce lets her have the microphone for a minute and she joins and she just makes... And she sort of goes... Aah! 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 <laughs> Beyonce looks terrified. David, Eddie, we have the same answer. Uh, let's, well, let's have a look and see. Question. Fenton the dog became a YouTube sensation this year, but what was he filmed doing? <laughs> okay, so I asked you why Fenton the dog became a YouTube sensation this year. David and Miranda. It's the first, first dog, dog to get, get a bejazzle. <laughs> But the problem was that they spread out from that area all over the fur mm. because they didn't really know where the, the pubic region ended. <laughs> and, uh, so it took, it took seven years to bejazzle the dog and, and people it's are watching just... a seven-year-long clip of a dog being bejazzled. <laughs> I think people have got too much time on their hands, Jimmy. Uh, David, Eddie, what, what have you got? Why did Fenton become an internet sensation? Chasing deer. Chasing deer, you say? OK, what do you think, Jamie well, and Jonathan? I, I think that, you know, uh, was an inadequate answer. <laughs> uh, chasing deer was the obvious bit, but across a road, 
nearly causing a massive pile-up, while the man shouts, Fenton! 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 Oh, Christ! Oh, Christ! Fenton! Oh, Fenton! You say nearly causing a massive pile-up. Yes. That is speculation. For <laughs> <all> you, <laughs> it is averting a massive pile-up. Over that, that car would otherwise have caused if it hadn't been slowed by the deer. No. <laughs> Let's have a look at this clip and make up our own minds. Complete answer. You definitely get a point. You get a point too, David and Eddie. Let's have a quick check on the scores. David and Eddie have 24 points. They're in the lead. Uh, Jonathan and Jamie have 22 <laughs> points. David and Miranda are in third place with three points. <laughs> Join us after the break for the nail-biting finale of the Big Fat Quiz of the Year 2011, when one of our panelists will be singing for their lives. What? I'm pretty sure that's right. Welcome back to the final part of the Big Fat Quiz, and as the washed-up celebrity of November is forced to eat the kangaroo anus of December, let's find out how the year ended. Jim will fix it host Jimmy Savile died. I guess he finally got round to reading my letter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Conrad Murray was found guilty of the manslaughter of Michael Jackson. He claims he did everything by the book. Unfortunately, the book in question was how to sedate an elephant. <laughs> Three of the world's top cricketers went to prison for spot fixing. To explain, spot fixing is what happens when something I don't understand is done by someone I've never heard of in the middle of something I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> right, we're on to our final set of questions. So, November, December. In December, two unusual visitors arrived at Edinburgh Airport having enjoyed an in-flight meal of apples, carrots does, and cake. Who were they? <laughs> OK, you all got something? David, yeah. write something down. <laughs> For our next question, we go over to my chief scientist, yeah. Professor Brian Cox. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Big Fat Quiz. Professor Brian Cox here. Now, I know you think science is all fast cars, women and parties, which it predominantly is, for me at least. But there is a serious side. This year, six men completed a 520-day stay in a box. But what were they practising for? Yeah. Why were those men in a box? OK. Beautiful. OK, you got it? Yeah, beautiful. Next question. After a night of post-exam celebrations, London policeman Gary Withers got into trouble for sleeping in an inappropriate location. Where did he wake up? This is not a euphemism. This is not a euphemism. You got it? You think? Jamie's got it. Jamie knows. Jamie knows. I got a good one. He's smart. He's got it. Yeah. Oh, we've got another Say What You See puzzle. This spells out a new story. What new story is it? There's a lot of competition here. David and Miranda coming up from the rear. No change there. We're all about the picture ones, though. That's They're how fun, we got our they? point last time. <clears throat> Ready. Ready. Next. OK. I've got the final question of the Big Fat Quiz of the Year 2011 here. You want to hear it? Yeah. Yay! Final question. OK. Appropriately, we end this year's quiz with an and finally question. How was award-winning wildlife photographer David Slater upstaged by a monkey back in July? Mm. He's an award-winning photographer and he was upstaged by a monkey in July. Yeah, Classic and finally news story. So end of the news, depressing, depressing, yeah. depressing. One lovely little story at the end. And finally, the Queen is dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you all got your answers? Everyone got answers? This is pretty close between Jonathan and Jamie, David and Eddie. This could go it either way. It wouldn't be if they hadn't been allowed to cheat. <laughs> we have well, let's not be sore losers before the event. Okay. We just worked very okay. hard. I asked you who enjoyed a meal of apples, carrots and cake on the flight to Edinburgh. What did you put? Jedwood. But then <laughs> we, we changed, changed it to mum. pandas. You weren't pandas? Yeah. Okay, uh, David, Miranda? H and Claire from Steps. Uh, <laughs> Claire's got quite big and yeah. they put her in a forced <laughs> diet. They were doing a show in Edinburgh. 
<laughs> so they said, Re you're too fat, love. You just have an apple and a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> OK, D David, Eddie? You've got pandas. you got pandas? Yeah. OK, I can tell you that you are right. Yeah. Pretty good. OK, well, you both, get, you both get a point for that. I don't think we can give you a point for two members of Steps. Oh. Anyway. Because it isn't the case. But two pandas arrived in Edinburgh, you know. It may later turn out that the pandas are just obese members of Steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take their head off and go, hi, it's Hi, us. we're ready to do the uh, In which case, now. we will yeah. retrospectively give you a good. point. But, Thank you, know. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Like but... you should have done with Richard Keyes. <laughs> Just let it go, Miranda. Okay, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Brian Cox asked you why some people sat in a box in the name of science. What did you all put? Mars mission. Mars mission, you think? They were practising for the Mars mission. What do you think, uh, Jamie and Jonathan? Exactly the same. Mars trip, living in a box, see if, you know, they can... Living in, in a box, box on Mars, maybe, even, but then we went with the okay, Mars. OK, so mission. Mars trip, you put... Uh, David and Miranda, I imagine you got it right as well? We put... I couldn't concentrate because he's too dishy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Lovely, he's isn't he? He's dishy, that, isn't he? Who? He's got... Professor Brian Cox. Professor oh. Brian Cox. Do you think he's too attractive to be able effectively to impart knowledge? In a way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, should we go back to Brian Cox for the answer? Yeah. Have a look, Miranda. I won't be able to concentrate, sure. <laughs> Hello again, how did you get on? Well, the answer is that they were practicing for a manned mission to Mars. I do that by sitting in a jacuzzi. As you do. They Brian Cox, the... everyone. He's just the coolest. Yeah, cool. They missed a trick with those Mars guys, though, didn't they? Because surely you would play a trick on them when they came out of that box. And dress as apes. And, <laughs> and what I and think they, they should a... do is they should have come out of the box and been yeah. in another box that they didn't know was there when they came out. <laughs> or just a bigger one. Yeah, just a bigger one. And then you could slightly out of that bigger, bigger one. They could walk around the it other It was box. in Russia, so that would kind of make sense. <laughs> well, they love that Russian doll thing. OK, so who got that right? Uh, Jonathan and we Jamie and David right. and Eddie. OK, so it's all pretty tight on scores. Uh, David and Miranda, I'm pretty sure you're close. I don't think I'm getting that. <laughs> OK, so I asked you where PC Gary Withers Gee. woke up after his post-exam celebrations. What did you all put? No, I don't know. I'd not heard this news story at all. Because okay. the others we got right. I mean, and pretty this much. <laughs> this is the one you're looking to beat on. 99% yeah. was right, but this one... This one got whoa, us. Oh, got us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, David and Eddie, what do you think? Where did he wake up? Well, we thought it could be in uh, a lake, a police station, <laughs> a helicopter, plane, a potato. Okay, it was an inappropriate train. place. Okay, Jonathan and Jamie, what do you think? I want to make this is not a euphemism, but we thought he might have woken up in the royal box. <laughs> Ooh. In the royal box. I can tell you, you've all got this wrong. He actually woke up in an Occupy London tent outside St Paul's. Oh. <laughs> And was recognised by some of his colleagues, I think. OK, so uh, I, I, we had a Say What You See question. David we're, Miranda. We're all about okay. these. Your specialist subject. OK. Let's have a look. Cameron, Cameron vetoes, vetoes tree coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you are so close, you're going to kick yourselves. No! <laughs> what, what did you put, David and Eddie? We put uh, Cameron vetoes tree... Uh, tea. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it looks like it's coffee. You're not trying. It look, I mean, it's weird because it's in a tea cup, but it does look like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It could be coffee. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Jonathan, Jamie, did you get this? Cameron vetoes treaty. OK, that is it's the right simple. answer. So you get points. You get points. You I'm tempted close. to give you a point, but no. Yeah. Oh, oh, Richard, I please. Think they were no, you said coffee. <laughs> no. Please, Jimmy. No, you Richard, didn't take please. it seriously. You don't please, get a point. Jimmy. Please, Jimmy. I'll give you a blowjob, please. <laughs> <laughs> that comes free with a gift. All right, you get a point. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm good. <laughs> no, because, you know, because it, now we've got a finale for the show. <laughs> uh, and finally, how did a monkey upstage wildlife photographer David Slater? What did you get? Uh, the monkey stole the camera. Camera. Took a load of pictures of himself. Of himself um, and, uh, and they looked pretty good. Chilling. OK, David and Miranda? We just wrote monkey. monkey. <laughs> <laughs> we were aware that the monkey must have done something extraordinary. Yeah, I said that in the question. So, so half, I mean, it's half a point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> because we just missed out of the, the thing about the taking the picture, but everything else was right. <laughs> it it did involve you, a you monkey. Didn't, you didn't put anything that was wrong. No! You didn't put enough. <laughs> I heard about this, but I just wondered whether the monkey stole the camera and took photographs of himself, or whether he was going, you know, like this, and then could you, and then... <laughs> Have a look at how good this photo is. <laughs> <laughs> how adorable is that? <laughs> Isn't that 
just tell. <laughs> so, right, time to tot up your final scores. That's the end of the quiz. The big fat quiz of the year, 2011. Great. How did you do at home? You can compare yourself to the three teams. Uh, David and Miranda, you are in third place. Not bad. No, it was very bad. close. It's all right. It was That's very terrible. close. Yeah. You got four. Yeah. 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 OK, this is this is where it gets interesting. In second place, with 26 points, it's Jonathan Ross and Jamie Oliver. Well which done. means the winners are, with 28 points, well David and Eddie. Yeah. Here is your trophy, boys. You. you get a trophy, you won a prize. A big thank you to our amazing panel, our special guests, and all of you for watching. I'm Jimmy Carr. This has been Big Fat Quiz of 2011. Good night. Yeah.